Hi ladybugs, I am so excited to sh bring this tutorial to you because it's just s smashing. I just love it. You are going to need for this a laminator. Mine is just a cheaper. I think I, I bought this at Macro. It's just cheap. I didn't, it's not a big expensive one. And then you're going to need some pa uh, laminating pouches. <clears throat> And I find that this A5 size for, for what I'm doing is actually fine. Again, this must be macro. I probably bought them. Well, you can buy them anywhere, really. So that's not a problem. So these are the A4. But before we get on to that, this is what I've made with them. Um, these are bookmarks. And, you know, any size goes. And with the sequins in it. And I'm just loving it and then you can decorate as you please you can see here now I've added flowers lace and I even put um, lace and flowers on the bottom and this one I've added some scrapbook book paper this is another great way to use up your scrapbooks paper you can use any paper for this you do want something a bit stiff though okay to give it uh, some firmness there we go uh, and um, of course now I have to go and buy every sequence of every color and little beads every color under the sun so there's another one just to show you you know and the and it does look nice you don't want it blank on the back having a bit of a pattern looks nice now these have no uh, paper in them and I think they're just gorgeous look at this lots of sequins and I've cut laminated hearts I must show you how I do these as well and of course beads these also take beads you can put anything you want in here you can put buttons I've put buttons as well um, obviously nothing hugely bulky um, but I've got all sorts of little there we go this is um, it's turned around there and uh, where is the bead <coughs> here we go tiny little beads which I'll show you so I'm just, I just think they're fabulous, as usual. This one, I don't have black ribbon, and I really want black ribbon. And by next week, will be six weeks post-op, and I'll be able to drive around, you know. And there's the back. Oh, uh, did I show you this one? This is another one. I don't have a lot of colors, unfortunately, but I'm going to be, yeah, that's going to be on my shopping. You see here, I put a button. I don't know if you can see it, and of course, we just love that noise. And uh, put this, can you see this flower in there? And there's that butterfly, and again, I've put another butterfly laminated in here, and it's just beautiful. And you can put as much or as little as you want. I just want to show you something as well that I did right here. I'll show you how to do these as well. I use glitter and I don't like it. It just kind of, maybe I put too much, I don't know. It just kind of covers everything. And even though I put in a shiny little thing in here and another butterfly, it, it just doesn't look the same. So the ideal thing to use for this is sequins and little beads, shiny stuff, um, buttons, anything, charms. You can even stick some charms in here. But um, yeah, I don't like the glitter. Or maybe, maybe just a, no, I don't think so. Because then you're going to get this effect and it's going to cover it. So, for me, I don't like the glitter. So, let me put these aside. And it's so easy and it's so quick to do. So, let's take out. You need two, right? So, you need two of these. Let's put that aside. And it's so simple. So what you're going to do now, mine, I've cut them two and a half wide. I mean, I wonder how wide these things are. A5, but what's the measurements? You could cut it in half, I suppose. But then it makes it quite wide. Shall I do half? It makes it a very big bookmark. I prefer two and a half, okay? So I'm just going to cut it two and a half by two and a half right 
and you can use make use this piece as well to make um, a really narrow one and that's okay so I'm just gonna put that aside let's put it on the side now again it's a choice if you want to round your corners you can Oops. Um, I chose not to I chose to cut them off because uh, this one is straight now what I'm gonna do because I find them where's my journal let me get one of my journals let's just put this inside to show you I mean how cool is that oh, oh, I better. <laughs> this journal is very personal and then you have it sticking out how cool is that to mark your place in the journal let's put that aside or in your book of course if, if you read uh, physical books I don't I only read on my Kindle now so this place here now where it's still holding it together that's what you're going to cut off I just want to show you sometime today would be nice there we go so that joint part is the part I'm going to cut off and I normally these ones that I've done are all seven and a half inches there we go toss that and now this one because it's uh, the corners around it and I don't want that but like I said if that's what you like then you know just go ahead and cut it how you want and then I'm going to cut it down to seven and a half you can cut it any length you want it doesn't have to be seven and a half you can make it six like I said I just found that this kind this kind of length worked for me oh my dustbin's gone so I'm tossing on the floor <laughs> okay let's put that aside so so easy now this is what I call the finicky part your um, laminator should be on by now I mean your uh, but I'm not gonna I've already prepared ahead you know because otherwise it's um, I could speed it up I suppose too anyway okay take it out um, let's put it in I might as well put it through why not heat up quickly now now what you're gonna do you're gonna take apart these two the actual bookmarks and you're going to put the shiny sides together like so yeah now, like I said this is finicky because you're going to try and get it as straight as you can which is not always so easy and this one leaving a little bit of a gap you see because it's slippery uh -oh, I really messed it up okay and again just turn it around shiny sides together now you also want to make sure that your desk is clean okay that you've got no bits and pieces or dust or anything because it will show on your laminate you see that piece there go away I don't know where you came from because I've just cleaned this with a scourer and you know <laughs> and yet there's still still dirt there so okay if it's not a hundred percent straight it's okay shiny sides together let's just double check oh, where are all these little pieces of dust or whatever that is coming from <clears throat> and I actually am gonna move this and also you know when you put it through you've got to do it carefully to get as little slippage as possible so you want to leave a bit of a margin there and you want to leave it there and let's try and straighten as much as we can and it doesn't matter if it's a little bit uh, squonk on your actual uh, laminating pouch okay I'm just gonna move this I know this part is boring <laughs> and then you're just gonna close it where is that coming from? <gasps> Let me just, oh, that's right on the top. I say, I did dust, dust this. So make sure it is well dusted. And there are no dooby dabs there. 
Then you're going to put this through, which I'll put through. I'll start putting it through so you can see. So hold it firmly there and try and keep it straight. And it does take a little bit of time. And usually I will hold it once it's sort of a third of the way through to avoid slippage. <clears throat> once you've done that, then this is what we'll, you'll be left with, right? Now I want to show you this one that I did prior. I don't know if you can see it so well. It's full of marks because I didn't clean my desk properly. You probably can't see it, but it really does have marks and little things and it'll show up. So I'm gonna, I'll probably still use this, I don't know. <laughs> it might be horrible, so maybe not. Okay, that one has already come through now. And you see, it's got a bit of a bubble. I don't know why, maybe I didn't press it down enough, but it's okay. <clears throat> And then, you know, you can cut this on your cutter, but I just find it hard to see. I find it easier to see if I place it this way. And then I do leave a little bit of a margin. It's better to hold it flat to the light so you can actually see where you're cutting. So I'm just going to go now and cut all the way around. on three sides only. Okay, do the same here, and like I say, easier if you hold it flat to the light to see. On three sides. Yeah, and I actually use this as a guide. I don't know if you can see that on camera for the width to have a bit of a margin on your bookmark. Okay, I normally do cut this now. I use my cutter, and you're going to cut off the top one aside. Doesn't matter which. So you're going to go there and cut it off. And what's going to happen now is magic. <laughs> and this one, that's why I cut on. Of course, you can just use your scissors to cut all four sides if you want. But I just wanted to make sure it's really straight. So I'm going to do the two. Let's get rid of that. And we can get, no, not yet, not yet, because I am going to do one. Oh, this is not double sided. Mm, mm. It's only single sided, but it's fine. So, oh, look, it's got butterflies on it. So that, I'm going to check this, you know how to measure. That should be fine. So it's two and a half that I cut that, but anyway. I'm just going to use my pencil, my normal, to mark it, and that will give me that little butterfly, which is quite nice. Like so, let's make sure now it fits inside. Let me see if it doesn't, I'll just recut it. Yep. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I've got that little bit, which is fine, hanging out. So I think I can actually put my cutter away now because I'm doing one blank. And where's this guy? This is just a little top gloss. Now you just take your scissors, whatever is left over, just cut it away. That's all you're going to do. So I have my glitter and beads and things in here. I'm just going to take them out. So you want small beads. I've got these. 
Oh, there's one missing. Where is it? Okay. Oh, and I've got my glitter, which I am not going to use. And then we want pinks. Oh, I've got silver. Uh, let's have a look. I've got my... That's a purpley pink, which is fine. I've got that. I chose pinks because I've got a lot of, uh, more pink than I have anything else. These are just the Nouveau ones. But, I mean, I think it's better to go and buy them cheaper. And this has actually got a bit of blue. My paper, which, you know what? I think the blue will look nice, too. And I love this one. It really, these tiny little filigree, whatever you want to call them, glitter, not glitter, sequins. This is a darker green. Oh, and I love using the, the like, Mother of Pearl one, or the Diamond Harlequin. So let's get rid of this. And I suppose you can pour it in here. A lot of ladies do. Ugh, I just put it straight in. Um, so, I am going to put, I could decorate this, oh, yeah, maybe, um, I also got, before I do that, I'm going to just put a little bit of decorating. Um, also what I've done, I have stickled whatever uh, paper I'm using, you know I mean, stickles, I love my stickles. My friend was here the other day. And I nearly stickled her as well because I was making these. <laughs> and she almost got stickled. So, what am I looking for? I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Old age, what can I say? So I've got various stuff here. You know, I think I might even use some of that. And I've got this one, and let's use, I don't even know if I want to use this, it's just too busy, you're not even going to see it. But this mm -hmm. is just an option for you guys if you want, okay? And if you are going to decorate, remember to decorate down, okay? Because you are going to put your top there, so you want your topper there. So you want this down or in the middle or at the bottom, wherever, but always leave space for the topper. So I'm not going to decorate this <clears throat> because it's still going to look fabulous, even undecorate. But because these are sticky blings, I'm just wondering what this... What if I just... I like that. I'm just going to put a couple well more than a couple you know me go big or go home <laughs> and bearing in mind and I think that's enough and I could probably even throw in let's see I haven't done thrown in flowers before but these are like a little ones okay let's put this in here and you know it's up to you as well how much, uh, how, how many sequins and stuff you want to put inside. There you go. And I do try and keep it facing the front when I put stuff inside. Um, but sometimes it just, it also just turns around. Might as well put you in. Look at that, it's really looking pretty. So I've got these pink ones. You can see I'm already running out and I just pour them in I always put less rather than more if you know what I mean because it's easier to put in than to try and take out if you've put too much I love this white look at that oh <laughs> don't do that <laughs> Uh, what can I say? And I'm not going to waste these. I, I, I just can't. I can't. And you know what's an easy way to pick up? Lick your finger. And then stick them in. Lick the finger. And stick them in. Okay, now it's sticking to my finger. Alright. I'm not going to mess around with that now. I'll pick it up later. And I'm really liking these guys. Let's put that there. And... 
I want some blue. So let's put some blue because you just pick up your background. Ooh, ooh, maybe I put too much there. No, it's fine. Background colors, you know. I mean, I bought these Nouveau to use in my, and they're a bit, I would think they are more expensive than going to a, I don't know, a, a shop and using uh -oh, um, the cheaper ones. So my next shopping spree is going to be sequins and these little beads. So I'm going to put blue because there's quite a bit of blue. And these pretty little blue sequins that I received in a swap. No, don't ask me who, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I mean seriously, I can't remember what I did yesterday. Never mind what someone sent me months ago. So I'm just putting a variety and now holding on there. Look at that. I think it's looking quite good. I don't even think it needs more. Yeah, I think that's perfect. And now, of course, all right, this is peeking out the top a bit. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit more. And it's doing that, you know, because of what's gone inside. Now, we're going to seal it. Let me just close these because, you know, all I need is to spill it. And um, it's going to go all over the place like that. So now you take your sticky tape. <clears throat> wider. Just normal sticky tape. And seal it. Okay, lift it up, fold it over, and cut any bits that are overhanging on the sides. Yep, that's fine. And then, you know, I could even use this paper, because this is kind of like a matching set. Which one am I going to use? I'm going to, I'm just going to use this guys. Again, all I do is, where's my little board? You can, again, make these any size you want. So I just score it at one inch. Where is it? Probably don't need to score all along, but hey, it's done. Then I'm going to cut it at two inches. Yes. And I'm going to fold it. <clears throat> okay. And then you, you can use a punch on your edge. I'm not going to use a punch. Let me just kind of measure. I want to cover right to the edges now of the um, laminate. Uh, let's just do that. I also normally cut it, but anyway, I'll show you what I'm going to do. You know, there's just so many ways of, of doing this. And I use my scissors. I've only got two. I must get some more. You know these scissors? I had to sharpen them the other day. And then just cut. A... Right, so it's glued on. Oh, why am I taking this away? Now I'm just going to put some... Um, Look at this, I'm making such a mess here again. Let's just put this aside and that is off. And more or less in the middle, which is about there. Let me just check that. I think I need to just a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's put the eyelet in. Always make sure when you buy your eyelets that it's cut. It's got little cuts in here so that when you put it together, it flares out. If it doesn't, throw them away because <laughs> it's a real pain. Or use a cutter to cut them. 
otherwise they just don't flare out like this and I'm just going to because I didn't press hard enough so I'm just going to cut and I want it to look much neater than that there we go put that away and get that out the way I've got some Georgette I could also use blue, huh? but for the moment, yeah, I think that's about right. And you know Georgette does fray a lot, so I'm going to use this guy. I was using a lighter, but I find that better for me anyway to use. Mm -hmm. So let's just take this through. Oh gosh. <laughs> let's just there we go. Put it through. There we go, get that out the way. You see this one, I cut these out and I just stamped them. And then I'll bring back my little, it's also nice, I don't have one. This was also given to me in a swap, but I mean, look how beautiful that would look there. I think this one is too big for that and, but, and I'm not going to fast now. But these are gorgeous dangles. They're lovely. So that's another idea is to hang stuff from there. And let's just stick that there. Let's put this one back. See, I'm trying to be tidy. And what was I going to do? My little flower. So I was going to put, I've got a biggish one. I think that's a bit big. No, that's too big. I think I prefer my smaller ones. Oh, I also thought maybe a sentiment. Um, day to fail. Let's just put maybe slay your day. Can't also be too long. So, let's just cut that out. I'm actually going to make it a little bit shorter. Let's cut it a bit better. Not too straight. Oh, that's okay. I normally keep this on my desk, so I don't know why. Well, it's just as usual hiding somewhere. Just so there's no white edges. You know, this is walnut stain. I'm not going to distress anything else. And I mean, if you want to distress that, you can as well. You can make vintage types. My next types I'm going to make is going to be vintage. <clears throat> So if we can sort of put that there, you can add pearls, I think I prefer that one. I quite like that. And you don't need to limit yourself either to just decorating, you can decorate anywhere on here. Just ordinary glue, PVA glue. I haven't put lace on this, that's okay. Not everything has to have lace, although I love putting lace. I also use um, all these cutouts. These are also very nice to use. I could even put that 
on the bottom with a bit of lace. So let's have a look at this. Looks a bit bare, don't you think? Oh, we have some blue. Maybe I'll put some blue as well. I use these a lot in my journals. And this is from Hers Annie. For those of you who are South African anyway, <laughs> you'll know what, what I mean by Hers Annie's. Not quite the right blue. Okay, that's come off. I'm just grabbing. I just think it needs some lace, guys. I'm just off screen at the moment. Um, or some bandage. How about some bandages? <laughs> or cheesecloth. Or, this is just handy, so this is exactly what I'm going to use here. I think just a little bit will be nice. Yeah, and you know, this one you can just pull it as well. I don't think I need to quite pull it. Now that I'm going to use, you can use normal glue as well to just stick this down. Okay, so now I'm just going to seal this one, the plain one without a background, which are also beautiful. And these I tend to put more sequins and stuff inside. But I'm not going to go hunting for more things. <laughs> huh. 
you know, like charms and stuff. And just snip it. There we go. And there you have another plain shaker. You can see now I put these little, these are very vintagey pearls, by the way. I've had them for oh, like 30 years. <laughs> and this one is already cut, so I am just going to once again because I think it's nice just to have that pretty edge so I'm just going to cut it all along should actually do something yeah more or less doesn't matter if one side is longer than the other and the glue Just glue it on, make sure it's on the edge. So, there we go. You can also push it right down as if you want to on the, you know, with the folders. And just glue it down. So easy. I'm just going to cut that off. And then, um, you don't always have to do an eyelet. Let me show you on this one. I use that adhesive fabric. You know the fabric that comes with adhesive? It's actually coming off. Let me just re-glue re this. I didn't take the adhesive off though because it keeps the fabric firm. And then I just, instead of putting an eyelet, I just put ribbon on there. Okay, so not everything has to have an eyelet. So guys, Let's try and move some of my mess. Look at this. How did it get so messy? <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do give me a like if you did, and I would love to hear a comment. It means a lot to me down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Now that I am almost to my six weeks on Monday, I will be doing more. <laughs> and uh, uh, posting more um, tutorials so I hope you love this as much as I do because you can use them anywhere as I said journals are great gift these make super duper gifts and you know you don't have to go overboard you can just make it plain as well you know um, so yeah there is a lot a lot a lot you can do with these and I will be back with more laminating stuff because this is my new thing now because <laughs> I love it so guys I will see you again soon ciao now bye bye